word problems with positive and negative integers, crossing the zero line in Alex. This is part two, how much more and how much less. We'll be comparing amounts when one or both are negative. The process is the same. Set up the problem as addition or subtraction. Solve it with addition or subtraction depending on the signs. The complication is the same too. The way a problem is set up, addition or subtraction, is not always the same as what you do to solve it. An example, how much higher is my house than down in the valley? Can you set up the problem? Give it a try. Pause the video and then hit play when you're ready. It's a subtraction problem because we're finding the difference between two things. 50 minus negative 50. Now try to solve it. To get from my house to down in the valley, I've got to go 50 feet just to get to zero and then another 50 feet in negative territory to get to down in the valley. That's why 50 minus negative 50 means the same thing as 50 plus 50, which adds up to 100. When you have to cross the zero line to find the distance between two points, you have to add the two amounts. Another way to think of it, subtracting is adding the opposite. Change the operation and the second number. 50 minus negative 50 is the same as 50 plus positive 50. Try these. Notice the first number that you're not changing is positive. You're subtracting a negative number. Use the number line to help you see what's happening. Pause to write things down. Subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number. What if you don't have to cross the line? What if instead of this, we wanted to know the distance between down in the valley and deep in the cave in the valley? What would be different? Write down what's different, and if you can, figure out how you'd have to change how you solve the problem. For the setup, it's comparing, it's still subtraction, negative 50 minus negative 100. How would you solve that? Write down your ideas. How much lower is deep in the cave than down in the valley? Hint, put the lower one last, 50 minus negative 100. Can you solve that? Write down your answer, then continue. Why put the lower one last? What if I put the lower one first? We'd have negative 100 minus negative 50. If we change subtraction to adding the opposite, we'd have negative 100 plus 50, which would be negative 50, except we already know it's lower. It's 50 feet lower. The lower tells us it's in the negative direction. The answer to how much lower or how much higher will always be a positive answer. It's how we talk. Distances are always positive. Even if you move backwards, you still had to move. Put the lower number last to get the answer fast. So how much lower is deep in the cave? Negative 50 minus negative 100. If we change subtracting negative to adding positive, we get negative 50 plus 100. But now the signs are different. We're starting with a negative number. 100 minus 50 is 50. They're 50 feet apart. For all of them, you might just want to draw a number line. First, set up the problem as addition or subtraction, knowing that might not be what you do in the numbers in the end to get your answer. If it's how much lower or how much less, switch the order and put the low number last in the problem. If it's subtraction, change it to adding the opposite and change two things to keep things balanced. And then finally, follow those addition rules. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Let's practice. How much higher is the top of the hill than down in the valley? And how much lower is my house than my cabin? Set up and solve each situation. Pause. How much higher is the top of the hill than down in the valley? Comparing, subtract, lower one last, 125 minus negative 50. That's the same as 125 plus 50. Everybody's positive, add them up, we're 175 feet apart. How much lower is my house than my cabin? Comparing, lower goes last. The house is 50 feet lower than the cabin. If you set it up as 50 minus 100, your answer would be 50. 
but it's 50 feet lower. Distances are positive. One more time. First, set up the problem as an addition or a subtraction problem. If it's how much lower or how much less, it's subtraction, and put the low number last in the problem. Since it's subtraction, change it to adding the opposite. Leave your starting point the same, change subtraction to add addition, and then your final number to its opposite sign. Change both. And finally, follow the addition rules. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number, then you'll be exact. Thanks for listening and watching. There are some related videos, and you can find them at resourceroom.net. Alex, help. Here's the legal stuff.